Hey there! This tutorial is going to be on how to make a ping tuber and how to add the mouse tracking and tablet tracking as well. To start, we're going to need the Vito Tube Mini, a keyboard and mouse, Spud Tablet. This is just what I use. You can also use the Spud Controller or whatever else. So you go ahead and download the Spud Keyboard and Spud Tablet. You want to make your own file and go ahead and unzip the file in here. And this override file right here is where everything is going to be. All of the arm, the hand, the tablet, everything you need. So you just want to take this and drag it over to your client. And it's really important that you copy directly over like the original PNG that it will have there. That's what I did for all of these. That's what you want to do so you can make sure that everything lines up properly. Once you have your PNG tuber and all of those down, you want to go ahead and right here, this is my file for everything, my PNG, my little keyboard and mouse thing, which I don't have currently set up right now. And once we go over to our V2 after we've drawn over everything, Let's open the keyboard, you can see it works right here, and the mouse, and I usually use game capture, this is just a personal preference, you can also use the window capture, you just name it to whatever, like keyboard, okay, we'll name it keyboard, keyboard one, and here we go, you see how it moves around everything, I like to turn capture cursor off. And we can see right now that it's like, it's magenta. I use the magenta background rather than the green screen background because, you know, I have a little bit of green there. What we want to do is go to filters, add filter, go to chroma key, and click to magenta. From here, you can just size it down and place it wherever you want. You can, where is it? You can flip it. This is usually where I like to put mine. And you can move it around just like that to set up your actual VTuber itself. Good for the Vita tube, you have the closed mouth image, open mouth image, closed mouth blinking image, and open mouth blinking image. So you just want to input your, like, here's mine. You just want to input your first PNG in there. For this, like, you could see for half a second, it so it could not exceed a certain amount. Um, what I use to fix that is I will put. So I'm going to go ahead and get my first PNG and then you want to input it to 248, open 48. And this way it's now going to fit inside the Vita tube. You can alter all these things, like for this one, when my mouth is closed, it will vibrate. That's kind of funny. I like to just keep the open mouth vibing. This is just so that it doesn't bounce around too much when you're like using your keyboard and everything else in there. But yeah, that's about it. Have fun making your own pink jewelry.